everyone. My name is Nathan Payne. Welcome back to another episode of Blotion Crypto. Today, we're going to cover how to get loot fast in Heroes of Mavia. So since the recent update, everyone in the community can agree it's a lot harder to collect loot. Everyone is using all of their loot on upgrades, and it's just taking a lot more attacking, you know, in order to be able to afford things. So I want to show you guys how I am having absolutely no problem collecting loot and affording all of the expensive upgrades. And you don't even need Mirror to do it. So let's jump right in. I wanna play. So basically the first thing I'm gonna do, I always check my infantry factory. I'm training mass Marines. Obviously leveling them up helps, but you don't need them leveled up. You can use them at a low level. Uh, they train fast and they're not that expensive. So basically the idea is we're just going to spin for some bases and I'm going to show you guys we are essentially going for loot around the edges of bases. Very rarely will we actually go in. Now I am looking for bases that still have a decent amount of loot, you know, usually over 100,000 uh, and it's worth doing a couple spins just for that. Sometimes, however, you might see bases where it's kind of easy just to snag a few of the collectors and that can be worth it so I think we'll just do a small little attack here mm, we're getting most of the loot actually so it's not so bad let's just see oh and look at this we've got some storages that aren't well defended I don't think it's going to be worth going in for the gold you know we're using very little troops here so this is the kind of only exception, you know, I'll still hit bases with low loot if I see that collectors and some storages are easy to attack. And it looks like most of the oil is pretty much done for. So that tells me that the remaining gold is on the inside of the base. I'm still going to let these Marines kind of chip away. Eh, that's good. So we're going to go to the next base right away. Now, one thing we used 22 Marines and we got what? 59,000 gold, 41 oil. Uh, like I said, though, we did lose trophies, so that will happen. You know, you will kind of lower your ranking here. You might need to kind of re-up later or try to get some stars, but doesn't really matter. It's all the loot right now. Okay, so we just trained more rains. We're going right back in. And I do, you know, when you have Mira, you might as well use her, but I like kind of trying to save her for bases that we want to push. So you know what? This might actually be that base. We've got 180,000 gold. It looks like most of it is within the center of the base. I actually don't know if this is going to be worth pushing. Uh, yeah, let's keep let's keep spinning. It would have cost a fair bit of commitment on the Marines to get in there. You know, when you guys seen how much we got for, you know, very little Marines last time. Ooh, I like this. It is a compact base. Chances are we are going to pull Mira by accident. And we are going to lose some Marines in the process. But we're just going to go one, two, one, two, three up here. Three there, one, two, three there, one, two, three, four, five here because we are contesting a sniper tower. If I do it here, it'll probably pull Mira, so I think I'll try that at the end. There is some storages there, but I I'm, we're getting most of our loot from the collector, so I don't think it's going to be too worth going down for those storages there. I think the gold, let's just do this, and then we'll go for those gold collectors down at the bottom here in a moment because I know Mira is going to pull when we do once they move in. Okay, looks like we're getting a lot of the loot there. Get some more from here. And I'm pretty good with that. I mean, we pretty much drained most of that base. Uh, are they attacking anything else with resources? Nope, let's just move on to the next. It's really this simple, guys. You know, sometimes you'll get really lucky. You know, I mean, look at that. We got 148,000 gold, 125,000 oil. We used 43 Marines. Now, you will get to a point when you're doing this nonstop, kind of like this, where you can see our full army isn't even queued. Doesn't matter. You know, we're just going to rock right back into the next battle. And we haven't even used our Mira yet. So sometimes if a base has low level defenses and a lot of loot, I'll deploy the Mira just to kind of sweep through the base if the storages are in the center. But otherwise, I'm really just doing this nonstop right now. Now, there's a lot of oil here at this base, but I don't like how well defended it is. You know, let's test a, a collector here and just see how much comes from it. Not a lot. So do you notice how it's going down slowly? 
that actually shows me that most of the resources are in the storages. So we're just gonna move on to the next battle. So that can be a good test too. Like just drop a couple, see if you're collecting a good amount from those collectors. And kind of like you noticed there, we weren't. So it was like, nope, next. Oh, look at this loot. Okay, and this is interesting. It looks like we're gonna be able to get no problem for some of these here. I wonder if I am going to clear some of these trash buildings because it looks like these this is very low level, right? You know, there's like level one walls, level one motors, probably level two to three turrets. I think we can probably wreck this base and I won't even need Mira. I am going to clear the trash buildings around the edge. Only the ones that are really necessary, though. We don't necessarily, you know, need to go too crazy here. Okay, let's deploy one, two, three, two, three, five. Because we are going to get some motor hits in. I just want to get this storage while the motor was distracted. Uh, let's send a few over for that gold storage there. And then once these are done, same thing. Let's go for this gold storage here, this gold storage here. Let's get rid of some of these trash. Uh, I will go after this turret here. It's because there's so much oil sitting in there. I mean, we've definitely deployed a fair bit of Marines, maybe 60, 70. So I want to be too careful on that commitment. We're also pulling Mira, but what's left? Okay, we got some up here, maybe for the gold. I think this last gold, the couple gold storages in the middle might just not be worth it. I'll just let the Marines kind of finish here. They are pushing into the base relatively easy. I could deploy my Mira and just kind of finish. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to drop a few more here because we had those Marines kind of looping around on the other side. This will be more than good, in my opinion. Actually, they're going to pull Mira here. Get her. Just so you can finish that storage, which probably has a thousand, if that, resources. There we go. We're good. I mean, we might as well let these guys finish, see if they actually get in. I don't think they will because of the motor, but... The motor's pretty weak, so there's still 20,000 gold. And is it worth it? Is it worth it? Uh, uh, yeah, let's send our mirror in. I want that 20,000 gold. <laughs> and we've only really got that one motor left. So you can see I'm kind of I'm kind of surgically picking apart the base and then making an assessment as I go. You know, she's gonna get caught up here on the town hall, but that's okay, I've got a couple Marines, and once she gets through that, we're gonna get that remaining 20,000 gold. And what did we deploy? 80 Marines, maybe? It felt like a lot of an investment, but compared to, you know, it's not, really. There we go, now we're gonna finish that. And actually, we're even getting the three stars, so we're gonna gain some trophies. So I'm just going to show you guys one more attack like this. I'm pretty sure you understand at this point. You know, actually, I don't even need to worry about killing those trash buildings. I just want to save some time. And I mean, look at our gold already compared to when we started. We are going, I mean, I could, I could get to HQ8 in no time doing this if I want. But I'm not. I'm not rushing my base. I'm making sure to upgrade absolutely everything first. So like I said, I'll show you guys one more attack. And this is good. We've only got 125 Marines you know, 26 currently in our army. We do still have Mira up, but it's this simple guys, you know, it's dropping your trophies for you. You're just collecting loot around the edges of the base. You're capitalizing on people who aren't defending their collectors. You can kind of see how much you loot you gain, you know, to know if it's in their collectors versus not. And looks like we're getting quite a bit from the collectors there. I think I might send Mira in for some of the storages just because I do like having her heal or spending time recovering, except she's going to pull that Mira. So let's go in for this now. We've got, while that sniper tower is distracted, it's also good to use when the defenses are distracted with other units that you've deployed, simultaneously deploy some that are going to go for a, a building close to that or a storage. Yeah, we didn't really support our Mira very well there. That's okay. Let's see here. Is it worth going after the storage? I think so. Now, there's a fair bit of oil, and I think that's coming from up here. So let's destroy some of these trashes. I mean, that enemy mirror is done now. We know that our Marines are coming in for that one. We've got an ice tower to contest with. Um, there is 50,000 gold, so 
think it's worth I'm probably deploying a little bit more Marines than I would like, but I think the available loot is more than fine. And honestly, like what, wait a couple minutes, you know, train uh, a bigger army or just let your, your army train further and just kind of rinse and repeat. There's very little downtime when it actually comes to this. So I am going to go for that storage and that storage as well. And I don't think I'm willing to commit anymore after that. We dodged a motor shot there. They're going up for the gold. We'll just kind of let them finish there. And I don't think those guys on the right are going to go after anything. I want to play. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, this is really a fantastic way to farm loot quickly. We used 76 Marines that time, but we got 93,000 gold, 112,000 oil. You know, as you guys can see, this is just rinse and repeat. So this is how I'm leveling all my defenses up high so my base can defend a lot more. People aren't just three-starring as easily. And uh, I just want to say a big thanks to everyone who's subscribed to the channel. We have consistent Mavia coming out for you guys. Non-stop bases covering attack strategies, things like this, base building. You know, I'm really looking forward to uh, all the Alliance stuff that we'll be co covering in the near future. And of course, a big thanks for smashing that like button. We'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.